guys welcome back to till vacuum do us part my name is Ashley if you're new I have been gaining a ton of subscribers lately and I wanted to do a fun little video so you guys would get to know me a little bit better so if you want to learn some fun random facts about me then just stay tuned Okay, back when I first started YouTube about, it was probably about seven months ago, I uh, posted a video like this for you guys and it was 10 fun facts about me, but I thought it would be fun to add a few more in there and update it because I've been getting so many followers lately. So let's get into it. Number one is, if you guys have been following me at all, you'll know this, my favorite restaurant is Olive Garden. Number two are the foods I don't eat. I don't eat chocolate, seafood, or Chinese. Um, I probably eat about like Savannah about like if you have an eight-year-old child that's how I eat I'm very simple I like chicken I like pasta but I do not eat those other things number three my favorite drink is peach tea and it's from Olive Garden and I buy the mix so that I can make it at home and drink it during the week but I love peach tea number four is what I don't drink I don't drink coffee and I don't drink any like alcohol drinks I just never have I don't enjoy either one of them I will take my peach tea or Pepsi over those any day um, number five is I have my degree in child development and I'll probably never use it or I know I won't <laughs> Number six is my favorite color. Um, I have a hard time choosing because I like gray and I like black. So in my house, I love grays and whites and creams. But if you notice dressing, I tend to do like black and gray. So those are my favorite colors. Um, number seven, I met my husband Chase in seventh grade and that's when we dated and we were best friends all the way up until the moment we got married. Number eight is I love to rearrange and decorate. Once again, if you guys have been around for a while, you definitely know this. Um, I cannot keep things the same. Like, I guess I just get bored easy. I don't know if it's just because I stay at home, but when I think things are getting boring, that's when I start rearranging. And it's never a planned deal. I just wake up and all of a sudden I'm like, oh my gosh, I need to rearrange my bedroom. Um, number nine, I had a C-section with Savannah. Um, I had actually been in labor all day and I kept going up to the hospital and they kept sending me home. And finally they were like, don't come back till you can't take it anymore. And I was like, I cannot take it anymore. So they started like hooking me up to IVs and stuff and giving me medicine. And that's when they realized her heart rate kept dropping and we were rushed into an emergency c-section and the umbilical cord was wrapped around her neck twice and her ankle it was the scariest thing i remember just like waiting for her to cry it felt so long but she's a healthy baby girl now but i did have that when she was born i have three tattoos I have one on here that says blessed and then I have a few hearts on my foot and then my bottom eyeliner is tattooed on. Um, number 11, I am a home buddy. I love being at home. I will choose that over going out any day. Now I do like to get out and run errands like um, in Owasso or nearby towns but I love being at home which goes on into number 12 which is I hate crowds. So the older I get I'm noticing the worse it gets. And we even go to like the one o'clock church service because we have a really big church and it's always crowded. But I've learned that's like the least busy time, I think, because everybody's eating lunch and it's even getting busy. But I do not love crowds as an adult at all. Number 13, I've never broken a bone. So knock on wood, I don't do it as an adult, but I've never broken a bone. I've tore ligaments. I've done all sorts of stuff, but I've just never broken a bone. Um, number 14, I've been on a commercial here um, locally. If you guys are around here, I was on a Han appliance commercial because um, the spokes girl in there, her name's Gentry. She is actually my gamma in my sorority at UCO. I was Alpha Gamma Delta. So I don't know if you guys ever watched me on that if you're local. Um, number 15, I get really bad headaches. I don't talk about it too much on here because obviously I'm not filming why I have those, but um, you know, my whole family gets them. My mom has them really bad. My grandma has them even bad. So it's definitely just been passed down. I pray all the time Savannah doesn't get them, but they do like take me out. Okay, number 16, <laughs> most of you guys will know this too, I get very, very hangry. Me and my husband call it mean hungry. 
and he knows like when it's coming and he knows just to get me food but if I do not eat um, and like we have to have an early dinner just because I have to have food in me like I get so and I don't even mean it and I'll apologize later I'm like I'm so sorry but I do I just get so mad um, number 17 I love to go to garage sales and find good deals um, I hate spending money and I don't think I was always like that. I don't think I was raised that way. But when I became a stay-at-home mom and we went down to one income, I just learned when I spent money, we had to find a new way to create it. I don't know. It's just really hard for me, even now that we have the second income. Like, we've been doing a few things to the house. Like, I buy new outdoor lights. I still want to find the best deal that I can find. I don't want to overpay. Even spending the money kind of, like, hurts a little. I don't know if that ever stops, but I do not love spending money at all. Number 18, clutter makes me crazy. Just as bad as not eating. And so my husband's learned, and um, even Savannah, to like keep things picked up. That's what I do. But if I walk into a room and now we have like company over or if it's something like that, I don't care. But when things just start to build up, like my daughter's bedroom, I just like lose it. Like I cannot take clutter. I just think less <laughs> is so much more. Um, number 19, I'm more sensitive than most people realize, and I'm sure you guys may not know that, but even, like, here in, like, my life around here, I don't even think people realize how sensitive I am, and I think I'm learning to work through that. Not that I'll change completely, but I am learning that it doesn't really matter what other people think, especially people I don't know, but I think I was just raised, like, thinking oh, what will she think of me? Or what if they don't like me? And being in my 30s has been just so eye-opening and I'm learning like, what do they don't like me? Like, does it really matter? Do I know them? Do I care? So it's a really freeing experience and I'm trying to work through it because I am who God says I am, not what Sally Sue says down the block. Um, number 20, I hate cooking. I don't know what it is and it's all of it. I don't like buying groceries. I don't like unloading groceries. I don't like cooking. I love the eating but then I don't like cleaning up afterwards so we do eat out a lot. That's one of the perks of being a small family. Now if I had like three plus kids we wouldn't be able to but it's like me, Savannah, and Chase and a lot of the times like me and Savannah can split a meal so um, that's just the perk of us being small and my husband doesn't enjoy cooking. Maybe Savannah will, and that will be her chore she gets older, but I definitely do not enjoy cooking. Um, number 21 was really funny because it just all of a sudden hit me to, like, as I was making this list, but I've never been on a diet. Like, I feel like most girls have been on, like, every diet in the books. I don't know if it's just I know I'm going to fail or it's just never been worth giving up food, but I've never, like, went on a diet. Now, I may have, like, said I'm not going to drink pop for the week or I'm not going to, I'm going to give this up, but... I've never been on like a diet and every time I've said I was going to give something up I never have. I think it's all about like portion control and not overeating just like eating till you get full and then staying active but I've never done the diet thing but I know most girls have. Um, I'm 31 years old for any of you guys that don't know. Um, number 23 is I am terrified of two things. The first one is clowns. I do not like them. And the second one is wasp. I don't know how many times my mother-in-laws had to come over and kill a wasp that's got in my house because once they're in my house, like I lock myself in a room. Savannah was a baby once and I literally like locked myself in the bedroom, put a towel underneath and called my mother-in-law and she drove across town with her fly swatter to come in my house <laughs> and save me. So like when I say I'm terrified, I am. And the clown thing, I don't know. My very first birthday, there was a clown and my mom fed me a chocolate cake. And I will say today, I hate chocolate and I hate clowns. So I don't know what happened or what went down at that birthday party. I don't even think she knows, but those are two things I do not like. Um, number 24 is I shower and get ready every day. And I get so many comments of like, why do you do that? Or how do you get motivated? I want to know how you don't do that. Like my hair will get so greasy if I don't wash it. Like if I don't wash it, I just, it won't do anything. So that's why I do it. If I have greasy hair, I'm not going to feel like I should leave the house or get productive. I don't know. I just want to lay in bed all day. So I've learned when I wake up and shower, I feel clean. It even makes me feel more rested. Even if I'm not, I feel put together. If somebody stops by, no big deal. So yeah, I do that every single day. Um, number 25, 
So last but not least, I'm a Christian. Um, I'm a Jesus follower and I attend Life Church and I absolutely love it. It's my home. I love Pastor Craig. So if any of you guys are looking for a church home, he actually has his online so you guys can worship and see his messages from inside your office or your home or your phone or computer, which I think is amazing. So I will leave that link down below. I hope you guys enjoyed getting to know me a little bit better. These are just fun little facts. If you guys have questions, definitely leave them down below or if you want to hear more about one of them, let me know and I can talk about it during the day in the life. Um, I hope you guys have a wonderful rest of the week and I'll see you in the next one. Bye!